live in Los Angeles, it's The Herd. Wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making us part of your day. J-Mac, you love Dallas in this series. Oh, what? Stop. Let's go back to that. Stop. I had the Celtics in six. Jalen Brown, the MVP. I will pat myself on the back. I feel pretty good about that today. Squirrel finds a nut once in a while. <laughs> Nicely done by you. Question, of course. We're always looking for more in society, right? Is this a one a one-time team or is it a dynasty? What is it going to be? Well, here's what I think the Celtics are. Right team for the right time. Just go back one year. Joe Mazzulla, the head coach, was young, looked like he was completely over his skis, got worked by Eric Spolster in the playoffs. This is bad. Marcus Smart, why is he shooting so much? He was more alpha than Jason Tatum. And you weren't quite sure, do we give Brown and Tatum extensions? I mean, these guys aren't winning the title. They're just, they're just good in the regular season. What, we don't know. A lot of success. A lot of success, we don't like to admit it, is upstairs. Brad Stevens, the former coach, goes upstairs. And he says, Joe Missoula needs help. He put really good guys on the staff. Now it's a really good staff. He empowered the staff. He said, you know what? We're a little bit too much Tatum dependent. Let's bring in Porzingis, Drew Holiday. Other scores take the pressure off. Let's give Jalen Brown an extension, make one of our stars very happy, know he's long-term guy. All of it equaled right team, right time. Their identity became more team over Tatum, collaborative basketball, very, very bizarrely deep roster in a time it's hard to do what they're doing. Eight guys that can catch, shoot, defend, <laughs> dribble, pass, it is a cliche, but the Celtics became the ultimate we over me. I know it's a cliche. It's nothing against Jason Tatum. He is an elegant talent. But year after year after year, we kept looking at him to provide the moment. And Brad Stevens, the guy upstairs who had coached him, recognized, hey, let's put less pressure on him and provide more offensive artillery so we don't have to, every big game, put our microscope on Jason Tatum and let others flourish. And I've said this, I love Tatum. He's a great player, somewhere between five and eight in the NBA. But when you went into a big series and all eyes were on him, you weren't quite sure what you were getting. I don't know if this is a great Celtic team. NBA champions are a little bit like uh, 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 movies that win an Oscar. Sometimes it's, it's not an all-time great picture. It's just an all-time great moment. Everything worked. Who knows with the future? Porzingis' his health. He's going into surgery. Cross your fingers. Al Horford, Drew Holiday getting older. Will they be able to work a deal for Derek White? But right now, they deserve credit. 80 and 21. The deepest team in the NBA by a mile. I think Denver would have been a much better matchup. Dallas was a pinata against this team. I mean, let's be honest. This was not a competitive series. It was, for moments, a little dramatic. But um, what I like about this team, what I really like about Boston, I picked them to win. I picked Jalen Brown MVP. But what I really like about them, is that they're, they borrowed a little bit of the Patriots' way, is that it is much more team over individual star. It is sacrificing for the betterment of us, smart, efficient, over flashy, and in a sport which usually rewards and worships the individual, I'm totally okay with that. This was a collaborative basketball effort over alpha guy. Get me mine guy. And maybe that's the new NBA. It's certainly getting more European. But I thought this was about cohesion and collaboration and less about Jason Tatum dependency in previous years, which put a lot of stress on the organization. It put a lot of stress on Jason Tatum. And we saw in the Eastern Conference Finals and the Finals. Tatum was okay with Jalen Brown, his partner, his guy. He was okay 
him taking and making the big shot. Celtics have their 18th banner. Here's Jason after. Over the last couple of years, we had some tough losses at home in the playoffs, and we've lost the NBA championship at home in front of our fans. We uh, had a chance to beat Miami in game six a few years ago and, and lost that one. Uh, so to have a, a big win, the biggest win that you could have in front of your home crowd, um, I, I felt like that was really important to go out there and um, do everything in my power to make sure we won this game tonight. They are historically unique. Where their number one in the Eastern Conference Finals in the Finals kind of took a back seat to their two. As Tatum referenced over the last several years, they lost a lot of home playoff games against cruddy Eastern teams. Um, you're not quite sure on any night who's going to provide the it, but that's okay. They're likable. They're collaborative. It's a different way to win. And it certainly throttled the Dallas Mavericks. And let's talk about the Dallas Mavericks. Um, the NBA is a star-driven sport. So it is not surprising in the least that Luka would be worshipped and really, really popular. He is just a raw, pure score, the likes we've rarely seen. But whereas Tim Duncan, Michael, and Magic combined for 16 titles, Duncan was sturdy, foundationally strong, took pay cuts at the end. Whereas Magic elevated everybody around him. Whereas Michael Jordan was committed both ends, leadership, skills, again, 16 titles. What Luca is, is a gifted bucket getter who doesn't appear to be in great shape, is regularly disengaged defensively, and spends way too much time barking at officials. They don't flip their calls, bro. Stop. Doesn't it concern you a little that Jalen Brunson left Luka and became one of the best players in the league. He went from like a two to a dominant game-changing, franchise-changing one. Maybe Luka's not that easy to play with. And the threshold from being a bucket getter, Iverson, Mello, great players, all-timers, to being a championship player is different. A championship player is committed on both ends. Practice early, stays late, best shape on the team. That's different. Leading the right way. Again, Luca is so gifted and has been since he was 14 or 15 years old. Is he amenable to change? Is he willing to listen? Or does he want to be an all-time bucket getter? Michael Jordan at some point had to trust teammates. Kobe at some point had to trust Shaq, Pau Gasol. I mean, don't get me wrong. Luca's going to be an all-time great scorer, but there's a different threshold between that great bucket getter, all-time bucket getter, and champion. And whereas the Celtics were collaborators and cohesive leadership from several factions, the Mavericks were a little too young, kind of lopsided, and their star sort of disengaged on defense. There is a gigantic gap in football from getting to a conference championship and winning the Super Bowl. Those are your two toughest wins of the year. A lot of teams get the conference championships. Not a lot of teams in the last 20 years have won Super Bowls. Patriots, Chiefs have a lot of them. There's a difference between as a five seed getting to the finals, Dallas, knocking off teams, surprising teams, could have lost to OKC, and winning the NBA final in five games in a series that wasn't close. I mean, the Mavericks are a five seed that overachieved. Last year, we're tanking. <laughs> there is absolutely no guarantees with Wemby, OKC, Denver probably adds a piece. There's no guarantee Dallas gets close to the finals next year. Again, they were tanking at the end of last year. Boston has been good for six years. Excellent for the last several. Here was Luca after. Now that the series is over, uh, how 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 much were you hurting? It doesn't matter if I was hurt. Uh, how much was I hurt? Uh, I was out there. I tried to play, uh, but I didn't do enough. No, no, he did not do enough. The standard changes. The threshold is greater. 
from bucket getter to champion. One team 